Joining me now here in Mission Control Houston on console is one of our Earth scientists from the Johnson Space Center. This is Melissa Dawson. Uh, Melissa, thank you so much for being here today with me, and why don't you tell me a little bit about what your role is here at the Johnson Space Center? Well, um, I'm a crew... I'm in um, Crew Earth Observations. I'm an Earth scientist, and um, what we do is we have about 300 sites around the world that we like to um, have the astronauts take pictures of, so we'll look at the station orbits for that day, and then if they cross over any of our targets, we will screen for weather and see if they have adequate lighting, and then um, we can ask them to take a picture of that site for us, and then they'll downlink it to us, and we'll catalog it, say, you know, you can see this river or um, this city and things like that in the, the picture, and then if we're working with collaborators, then we'll send them the picture and um, they can do their research or any other things that they need to do with it. Okay, so uh, what are what are some of the things you guys hope to accomplish with all these Earth Earth observations? Well, um, you know we've been doing this for a little over ten years, and so we we take the pictures over time, and we can look at. Um, what sort of earth science we can actually view from these. Say you, you want to look at how the aerial seas are depleting over time, you can, um, you know, do some science with that, or you can look at how population growth is affecting certain places. Um, you can look at city lights at nighttime and say, for instance, let's look at Houston and see how it changes over, you know, the past five, ten years and see if there was a lot of population rising and a lot of other aspects that we can really learn from our pictures. Okay, so basically a lot of really important aspects here on the Earth we can take just by looking at it from space. We can right. learn a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So about how many pictures does each crew, you know, send down during their expedition? How many are they taking? Well, um, recently with the time-lapse videos, they've been taking tens of thousands because each of these videos, you know, requires about an average of 500 pictures for each one. And so it's, it's really... Um, you know, it's it's upped a little bit, but now it's about tens of thousands. Tens of thousands. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, why don't we talk a little bit about these time lapse vi videos? And you're watching one now as this shows the station passing over the eastern coast of the United States. Now, again, these are these are collections of images. These aren't actual videos. So the crew isn't just sticking a video camera out of a window. Right. Why are you guys using images instead of these videos? Well, right now, uh, the cameras on board have much higher resolution than a video camera would. So we can capture a lot of other things from our, our videos if we use time-lapse photography. So instead of looking at um, a dim star field from a video camera, we can see actual constellations and, um, you know, the Milky Way, or we can see... Um, city lights brighter than ever really with these so until we get more advanced video cameras on board this is the best way to go okay and about how long have you guys been making these time-lapse videos and again this is easily some of the most spectacular views we've ever had from the sp sta space station and you came up with this idea yeah um, we've been doing it since um, mid-august I believe they sent down something uh, looking over North America going down to South America and you know I saw the images coming down and I noticed that you know it looked like they had mounted a camera in the cupola and or, or another window and they started just you know taking a picture every three seconds or five seconds and I put it together just to see what it would look like and it came out spectacular and so it's really just it's it's gone a long ways and again they they really are some of the most breathtaking views we've had from the station so I guess we all have you to thank <laughs> now some of these uh, you're seeing now storms all across the earth as the station passes by at about 17,000 miles an hour. And part of uh, what you guys are always researching are some fairly unique phenomena. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the more unique things you're hoping to capture in the future and again get a, get a new look at through these uh, time-lapse videos? Well, um, you know, just recently um, the commander, Dan Burbank, found um, the Lovejoy Comet. He, he got a, a great sequence on that. And so, you know, that's one of the things that we can, you know, kind of build on. And also maybe, um, you know, if we can capture shooting stars or, you know, just hurricanes or anything, really. Um, it's, a, it's a whole new vantage point that we can see these things from. Okay. And, uh, I mean, we've, we've already been doing this since about August or so. And do you have any favorites that have come down so far? I mean, I know the auroras have been very popular for people to see. Do you have any personal favorites? Um, well, there was one of the Aurora Astralis that was really breathtaking back in September or 
October, I can't remember which one, and also the Lovejoy comment that we just saw, I mean, that was a spectacular video and it made a lot of rounds. I mean, people just loved that video and we got a lot of comments from it. It was great. Okay, and I mean, kind of an easy question since as, as, as you watch, you can see these are just gorgeous videos. Why do, you, why do you think people are getting so excited about seeing these and, you know, asking about them? Well, honestly, it's, it's a whole new vantage point for people to see these things, you know, they don't get to see these things every day, and only astronauts get to see this. And so, you know, people kind of get a, a, a sense of how it looks from up there. And it's really, it's breathtaking, the things that you can see from up in space. It really is. And that, that is one of the things these astronauts always struggle with, is just describing the views that they get to right, see. Right, right. And since they're such a select group, they don't get to always share it. And now we're finally getting the chance to share this with the whole world. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Melissa. It's been great having you on. And we really love the videos. And we hope to see many, many more in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.